God had these good works. So right now, what I'm saying to you right now, these works that we do, bringing you to the table and sharing the word of God with you, this was a work that he determined beforehand that I would walk in this. So this is in the eternal mind of God. Do you understand what that does to a person? When you recognize that he knew me before he formed me in my mother's womb. So before he formed me in his mother's womb, he already predetermined, I'm going to love you. I'm going to, I, I chose you to be, to be blameless before me. And I have works for you to do, which I determined beforehand that you should walk in them. I'm like, whoa, Lord. I'm a part of an eternal plan right now. And now somehow I am a member of God's household. I'm a fellow citizen with all of the saints. So Paul, who wrote Ephesians, he and I are fellow citizens. Whew. We're fellow citizens. Mary, who had Christ in her, I'm a fellow citizen with all the saints built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets. Christ is the cornerstone in whom the whole structure being joined together grows into a holy temple in the Lord. Do you see that picture? That I get to be a fellow citizen and built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Christ is at the cornerstone, and it's just this one structure. The whole structure is being joined together into one giant holy temple that transcends time, okay? You're a part of that. I'm a part of it. It's just this, this giant eternal plan that was hidden in God for ages. And now it's revealed to us. He's making a holy temple and he's joining us with all of them. And that was the point of Christ in his death was to make one new man in place of the two. So now we're all one but not just one with each other, but one with our brothers and sisters all around the world in the persecuted church, one with some of these missionaries that we have studied with Smith Wigglesworth. We're all one, the apostles, the prophets, Jesus, and we're all forming a holy temple in the Lord. See this? This is deep. This is the stuff that's foundational. And I fear that if we don't understand some of these deep truths in the scriptures, we're not going to persevere. Because visions come and go, dreams come and go, emotions come and go, exciting moments come and go. But the word of God, it lives forever and it's living and active. And so I, as I've been studying the Word of God more and more these last few weeks, it has been transforming. God has just opened my eyes. Three weeks ago, I was in Kona uh, at the YOM base, and I was teaching, and I invited a friend over uh, to teach with me, uh, my friend David Platt, and he gave a message, and... When he was done, I said to everyone, that is literally the greatest sermon I have ever heard. I've heard a lot of sermons, I've given a lot of sermons. I go, okay, that's better than anything I've ever done. Um, but the reason was because he didn't say very much. All he did was quote scripture. And so all you heard was the quoting of scripture and and why murmurs going come on oh yeah so good you know and uh, you know but uh 
but as he read the word of God, you know, we, we just got more excited and more excited and more excited and just hearing the word of God. I'm